James Thomas, Freestyle Digital Media on March 22nd is going to release this great film called Queen of Knives. And it's written by Gene Pope and produced, and he stars in it. But I want to start off with Mel Harris. She's a writer and producer in her own right. So, Mel, tell us about your character in this. Uh, I am Kathy, and I am in Queen of Knives, the ex-wife of Frank, played by Gene Pope. And I am um, <clears throat> basically happy to be divorced. And I am learning about what life holds out there. And it's very interesting. I have a new partner who happens to be a female, which is a very new experience for Kathy, a wonderful woman played by Tara Westwood. And basically still also the family is still around. They're still together. They're still mixing up each other's lives. They're still complicating things. They're still making each other cry. Um, still pissing each other off, and um, and they all still love each other. So that's where we are. Gene, now you wrote this and you produced this. How did the idea formulate? How did you put it on paper, screenplay, and to the screen? Well, that's it's a great question because it's uh, I don't know. No, I I am <laughs> kidding. Uh, but what? <laughs> it just kind of I had a nightmare one night and wrote it down. And it was, <laughs> that no, it's um. The first thing I want to do is make sure that we understand it's not a slasher movie just because it's, it's called Queen of Knives. The, the, <laughs> okay. the, the title came from a tarot card, uh, uh, King of Swords, and then we morphed that into a title because it talked about what happens in midlife crisis. But to answer your question, um, uh, Lindsay Joy was actually uh, technically the writer, and I'm like the story by. And so she and I got together because I had worked with her and I loved her writing. And I said, you want to, let's put a movie together. So we spent literally two years going out every other week to a restaurant and staying there until the chairs were upside down. You know, it's like, I think it's time you to leave. You got kicked out, didn't we you? We got kicked out multiple yeah. times because we just were talking and talking about our lives. Uh, me about my life, her about her father's life. And, uh, and then we st this, this story started to coalesce. And then she started doing drafts, and then literally each time we did this, it took about two years to get the final script done. And, uh, and the most important thing I was trying to do here is to show that even though generations change, those of us who remember the time of, you know, bell bottoms and unis unisex clothing and, you know, <laughs> this is not that different what's going on now. And in fact, it's kind of humorous what, you know, th the things that happen. And that's what this movie is about, is talking about these two, a, a dysfunctional family, these two generations. But you know what? You look at it and it kind of tickles you when you say, oh, I remember, I remember doing that, that, yep, that's guilty as charged. So in the theater, I get these little clumps of people chuckling all the time. And then, you know, yeah, there's a couple of big laughs, but I love that people are seeing what they recognize. And it's like, and it's bringing them joy to see that. You're always talking about people laughing and the joy part of it. You're never talking about the serious part with the tears. Well, yes. Yes. Yes, it's Mel, there. That's there. Let's, let's talk about that, Mel. Talk about the tears. <laughs> well, I think that, that, I mean, Kathy and Frank have had an event, particularly yeah. in their lives, that has uh, affected them and, uh, deeply, and the whole family. And, and we do, the very fact that they're divorced. That's a, that was a tear-inducing thing. And it's, it is dramatic. It is, because we still are connected because we care. And we have two daughters together, and we care about them and their lives and how it affects each other. And we're still able to turn to each other, even though maybe we may not want to be doing that. You know how that works. So, and yes, and it's also a laugh riot in between. Jane, do me a favor and turn your head to the side. I want to see if you still got that man bun going on the back. <laughs> oh, no, that's not what I normally do. It took me, <laughs> took me a year to grow that man bun in because, you know, your hair grows a little slower as we get older. And yes. it took a long time. And I, I looked really strange while it was growing out. And then in the movie, though, this is the truth, I don't mind admitting it, they put a couple of little extensions in it, which you can't tell. It was brilliant just to thicken it up a little, you know? So I could flap Definitely. it, you know. <laughs> One last question for you, Gene, is this. Any relation in real life, Roxy Pope? Yes. So, so play, she played your daughter She's my in child. Real life she's, she's my youngest. She's, uh, they're my youngest child. Okay. And so what was it like working with your daughter? It was actually easy as pie because when I went to the Maggie Flanagan two-year conservatory, 
She went to another conservatory in New York City at the same time. And by the time we were done with that, we could do, we found, we started, did a couple of short films together and we realized that we could do anything with each other with the training that we had. And we were not looking at each other as father and daughter. It might be a father-daughter part, but we're playing the part, not the actual relationship. It's kind of like a big time out when we're on the set. I'd also but, like to say Roxy is just, I was, she's I, actually amazing. I was just amazing. going to do she's it. Yeah. I'll do it for you. That's okay. Roxy is amazing. She's very, very talented. She's, a, she's very, very funny. And she gives her father shit all the time. I guess I shouldn't say that. She gives, <laughs> she gives her father <laughs> crap all the time. And we all love watching it. <laughs> I enjoyed watching Queen of Knives too. I got Gene Pope, Mel Harris from the movie. Thank you so much for joining us on Morning Blend. You bet. Have a great day. Take care. You too. All the best.